الله عليهم The notorious Grad rocket is one of the most infamous and widely proliferated multiple rocket launchers in the world. The Grad is now thought to be in the stockpiles of more than 50 countries. Meaning hail in Russian is a name that reflects the power and reach of the weapon system. Each individual Grad rocket stands almost three meters tall and weighs the same as the average adult man. A rocket leaves the launcher every 0.5 seconds meaning the entire 40 rocket salvo can be launched in 19.5 seconds. After firing, it takes just 10 minutes to completely reload the Grad launch vehicle and for the system to resume its attack. A Grad system can fire 40 rockets, one after the other, in very quick succession. Each of those rockets is 122 mm, which has a wide area effect, probably somewhere in the region of probably about uh, 20 meters by 40 meters in terms of the immediate area of the explosion. Last year, AOAV recorded 12 countries using ground launch rockets like the Grad around the world in 89 incidents. These accounted for around 1,602 people reported killed or injured, of these 85% were civilians. In populated areas, civilians accounted for 94% of people reported killed or wounded. In lesser populated areas, that dropped to 44%. Syria, Ukraine and Yemen were the countries most affected by Grad strikes, but in this case study, AOV focused on Ukraine, where 86% of the total killed or wounded were civilians. In particular, we focused on a series of Grad rocket strikes that hit a residential area of the town of Mariupol in eastern Ukraine on the 24th of January 2015. They were fired from the northeast from an area controlled by the Donetsk People's Republic. The strike, far from any major military target, came out of the blue. For Grads to strike in such a populated area was particularly devastating. At the moment of detonation, the basic warhead scatters a total of almost 4,000 fragments, killing and injuring anyone in its midst. The area affected by the blast and fragmentation of each high explosive warhead that strikes the ground is measured at 700 meters squared. This is an area roughly equivalent to a circle with a radius of 15 meters, although Grad rockets spit most of their fragmentation effects in an area forward of where the rockets land. In Mariupol, at least 31 civilians were killed in the blast, including two children aged 5 and 15. One military serviceman was also killed, and at least 97 civilians were reported injured, but that true figure may be far higher. In total, over 50 apartment buildings and about 100 private homes were damaged or destroyed. Ten fires were recorded following the barrage, gutting shops and homes, and 20 cars were reported destroyed as well. The nearest rocket strike to any viable military target was 700 metres away, and the entire strike covered over 2.1 square kilometres. And an examination of an individual strike shows the devastation carried out by each and every single rocket. And this market in particular suffered from three direct attacks on the marketplace, and then there was a number of other attacks surrounding it. Six people were killed in this marketplace, and there was significant damage outside. Two people were killed when a grad struck this sausage store. The remaining fuel from the grad caused the stall to burn down and the surrounding containers were peppered with shrapnel. We're standing outside of Watson's Pharmacy and you can very clearly see an entry point for shrapnel from the Grad rocket. Now this occurred 65 meters from where it landed all the way over there in the marketplace. Such devastation is testimony to the impact of the Grad rockets in this area of Mariupol. An attack that will leave a long and abiding scar on the soul of this city.